let's explain the situation because it will uh, dovetail into our call for uh, the independence of parliament. I was the ranking member then, mm -hmm. and he was a member. Yeah. It was me and him disagreeing with, with this ally. This ally. Yeah. Right. But unfortunately, because of the whipping system, and indeed, I want to accept the fact that we as parliamentarians, we failed. Because okay. we were not able to impress upon parliament to reject this ally, although as individuals, me and him, and I remember me and him No, we fighting. impressed upon parliament, but we couldn't no, command them. No, 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 you are, we are. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's just accept that. In the report feel. that we brought to parliament, okay. after our positions yeah. in the committee, right. in the report that we brought to parliament, we urged parliament to accept it. And this is a fact. You urged right. parliament, parliament to accept it? Yes, in the report. In the report. Wrongly though, nevertheless, we registered our protest all right. But me and him, who are we to influence a decision like that? The senior will tell you. So, uh, but you know, that, the I'm, I'm listen, listen. And that goes to what I'm complaining about that uh, parliament uh, uh, is not independent. And okay. again, if we are whipped, at the end of the day, when the whipping happens, you will go there and you will not vote against the whipping line. You understand? Mm. So if somebody says that parliament is also co culpable, we should accept and then use it like as a... Like we Ken must go. Uh, listen, not, uh, not to no, follow. No, 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 listen, let me end no, no. properly. <laughs> we, 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 we must accept our fault mm -hmm. and use it as a lesson going forward that let us not be whipped into doing the things that we don't want to do. Thank you. Uh, Thank uh, you. Alfred, so permit, I just need 30 yeah. seconds. Right. You represent the people, mm -hmm. not necessarily the whip. You have a position. Your job is not only in parliament. You have primarily an advocacy representative role. If you had come out that's to, exactly to, what to that's what you are doing here today. If you had done that yesterday, no. Achimota was here. I came here. When you, when you did, right listen, here. hold on, let me finish. When you did it for Achimota Forest, a lot of us joined the fight. Mm. What see, happened? They put the thing aside. But if you go and just do the thing as a technical formal matter sitting only in parliament, how do you get the support well, you need? Us, we if you cannot get this, you see, you represent us as citizens. Mm -hmm. yes. If you cannot get reason, we are with, no, the frustration I appreciate with you. I appreciate that. You're my brother on that matter, on the constitution and all that. But if you can't get cooperation in parliament because of a web system, your mandate comes from us, the people. How did you rally us to come and join you in that fight? How did you throw light on the matter that we fight for the protection of, of, of that which is right and that which is good? You didn't do much on that front. Yes. So maybe this is also a learning. Yes. If there are things that, that don't work, have you have your personal conviction. We vote for you, in, we vote for you as MPs. You don't vote your party as MP. Your MP, you are the MP. Yes, so when you go at an M far. Okay. Well, so thank you. And and and, 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 and uh, Mr. Zimbabwe will have to leave us. I'm, I'm going to give him a word on this because yeah. yes, you've acknowledged that Parliament failed, failed the people on this like LI two four six two, and it is even the name of that LI that irks me the more. Environmental protection regulations, money in forest reserve. I don't know how you even came about that name for a law like this, Mr. Gamme. Uh, Alfred, let me let me say this. You see. This biz whole business, let's find a solution now. To me, that's very important now. Because we are we will drink water again. We are in fact still drinking here. Mm -hmm. So it's about uh, assuring ourselves and the whole nation that there will be an end to something. One, sending the soldiers back to the bush, they started burning excavators and burning chamfans mm -hmm. and so forth. That will not be entirely a solution. One, they will leave there soon, mm -hmm. and the people will go back into the bush to do it. To me, number one, can we find those who are behind the purchase of these equipments? Yes, we can find them. All these equipments have chassis numbers. True. They have numbers on them. And, supposed to be. and they were brought through the harbor. They were brought through the harbor. They have owners. People bought them. We have the list of them. DVLA has custody of these things. Are we saying we cannot find? Perhaps that was the reason why, even recently when I think the, uh, the flag bearer of NDC held his press conference, he said, they asked him a question. You said you released the people who were put in jail. 
He said, yes, I will do that again. Because this man is the one who financed the buying of the thing and sent the people there. He is left alone. And that he will ensure that those people are the people who should be arrested and prosecuted. Okay. Let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. I suggest, because if I say this, I'll be dictating also like them. So I suggest that those who are going to begin organizing, and because I alone, I can't do it. I will, I will start my own strike alone now. But mm -hmm. that would not be entirely very helpful. We need other people like you. What we need now is to call for suspension of burning of the excavators. Rather, let's evacuate them. That one, I'm in sync with uh, uh, organized labor and the CSOs. Let them evacuate them. Let's look at the numbers. Let's find out those behind them and call them to be, let's hold them to be prosecuted. Those are the people to be prosecuted. That's number one. Number two, still, let us temporarily put a ban if moratorium and other things are the difficulties, let's call it temporary ban. Then we call a national conversation meeting on mining. Responsible mining can be done in this country. That's what every all the parties are calling for. Responsible mining. And let's stop, let's stop the blame game. Good. I heard, I heard, I heard people blaming people. No. I understood that NDC people have gone to bring people from Togo and Burkina Faso no, 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 no. to come and mine in the waters. No, no, no. That is the most stupid and ridiculous thing I've ever heard in this country. It is not true and cannot be true. We'll, December 7 is tomorrow morning. We'll be voting very soon. Everybody individually should go and decide who to vote for. You want to vote for Dr. Baumia? Go ahead. The consequences, live with it. You want to move, vote for John Mahama, go and vote for him. The consequences, you live with it. You want to vote for Alan, go and vote for him. The consequences, you live with it. That is where we are now. Uh, but at this point in time, I want to just bring back my, my brothers in the organized labor. Mm -hmm. They should call an, a meeting almost immediately, apologize to themselves, apologize to the nation, because that was almost our last hope. But the Catholic Church has led the way for them. Mm. UTAG has contributed their quota and are still contributing. On my way coming, I heard QTAG, yeah, the QTAG technical university saying that they are going to join their colleagues in UTAG to, 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 to ensure that this thing is done. I teach those doing industrial relations in the University of Ghana now. Mm. And I'm saying that this is not the intent of how organized labor was clothed with a tremendous power. Tremendous power. And so they should make maximum use of that tremendous power. I, I manage some of the unions too. Mm -hmm. And behind the scene, I know how they felt bad about this whole thing. Unlike, unlike uh, uh, UTAC that went ahead to continue to do their strike, they couldn't do it because of the character of the essential services that they run. I want to plead with everybody, let's put our, our partisan cloaks down and let's confront this, this wicked thing that we are doing to ourselves mm. through the illegality of mining in the, in, the, in, the, in the waters and in the forest. And all those who are doing it to be made to account for it. Mm. If they don't do, and another government come, the same pressure that is on now, the same pressure will be brought to bear on them to ensure that it is done. The kingpins and that the financiers, done. Mr. Osengame, a liberal expert, former minister, uh, and I do appreciate you on this. You would have to leave us. But you see, uh, I think, Zadam, before you mentioned the, the excavators around the uh, race junction in Adenta. Uh, when Mr. Osengame leaves us, Kenneth Fesses Abuaje retired. He's a security analyst, going to be joining us. Also, Dr. Jamal Tonswa, who, is, who was a former advisor, uh, legal advisor to the Operation Vanguard. That's the first military led operation by this government to fight illegal mining. He's also going to be joining us because we're moving the conversation next to the measures that have been announced now and as to whether these measures will make any significant impact or otherwise. But I visited this, uh, this excavator site around the 
uh, as Adenta Race Junction. We counted a number of the excavators. You, there are numbers there. The residents around that area tell me that the numbers have reduced drastically. I don't know what I'm and so that's what you see there. So sometimes they wake up and they'll see a trailer carrying one excavator away, the other, and the numbers have reduced over the period. Those ones you see there are the ones that have actually been immobilized. So that's what you see on the screen. The ones that have been immobilized. Immobilized. Yes. Yes. Fine snap. Okay. Okay. Essentially. Yeah. Uh, I, I the, the, the memory there. Yeah. I was called. Um, let's see. Um, maybe sometime. Um, I don't, maybe, maybe just before the COVID. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, I think maybe 2021. What was this? When did you get that idea? This are the uh, race, Adenta race. No, uh, when, when, when? This was um, in 20, 21, yeah. 2021. Some people called me and tell me they've been given allocations. They've been given allocations. No, yes. this, this ones were. This was in 2019. The time. Yes, two or three. Yes, so 2019, 2019, there are about yes, four. Yes, it's very nice. Yes. They called me. Mm. Because of my farm, my yeah. agribusiness, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they told me, oh, they say I will need some equipment. And they were going to, they were offering me 30,000 CDs to come and carry. 30,000? Yeah. Come and carry the one of the excavators. Yeah, and I said, Galam, say excavator. So you see the date. I beg you the name of March God. 2020. I, I'm, where, I'm fine where I am. So the dates are there. Yeah, 24th, 24th March, March 2020. 2020. Yeah, so, yeah. so 2019, yes. 2020, 2020 mm -hmm. operation. Well, I mean, that was after, well, after the president was at my farm. So okay. that was yes, yes, my yes, yes, in, in, in November, I think, in, yes, in 2019. Yes. So it was after, that's when it came out. So in 2020 or 2021, there about it. Somebody called. And it was also a to topical campaign issue in 2020, Sorry. if you Indeed. recall. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Somebody. So there you have it. Well. So it's been it's gone. People have used it. Either it's gone back to the system of Galamse or it is doing some road work. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Or maybe agribusiness like I was. <laughs> Certainly. It was a very non non-transparent system. Well, there you have it. But it's alive here on Key Point, also on 3FM 92.7. We're going to go for a quick break. When we're back, we would interrogate the measures that have been announced for this renewed uh, government-led or military-led um, clampdown on illegal mining. The commander who is leading this Operation Halt 2 has been speaking to the media as well. He says the focus of this phase of the operation is to just make our water bodies cleaner than it looks now.